Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I got something really cool to show you guys today. It's a little DIY project that I saw online and I figured it was worth making a video for. Uh, basically what it is, it's a small, very compact utility gear strap um, for your tree. And obviously this work great for saddle hunters, but honest to God, I think I'm gonna take this everywhere I go when I go hunting, even in a fixed stand. Um, I'll show you how small it packs up. So basically it's something I saw on saddlehunter.com. I'm sure any of you guys, any mobile hunters know that site. And someone had just posted a picture. Um, somehow I found the, the items that they used to make this. And I thought it was a great idea because I was looking for different ways to hang stuff on my tree stand. And there's a million gear straps you can buy. Some of them are pretty compact. Some of them are expensive. They might be 30 bucks or 50 bucks. Um, but there's, I, there is not one more compact than this. Um, so I want to kind of show you how, first I'll show you what it looks like. So basically this is all it entails is these four plastic hooks, a figure nine carabiner, which you could pretty much use anything you wanted, but the figure nine works best, I believe, and some paracord and that's it. Um, and it takes you no time to make it. You, all you need is really a um, hacksaw and, and a drill. Um, obviously you need these items. And I will attach the links to both the carabiner and these clips that are sold on eBay. Uh, and I'll show you why these kind of work really cool. And so first just to go over to show you how compact this gets. So basically this paracord runs right through these clips. You could take it and literally just wrap your paracord right around it. Daisy chain it if you really wanted to. And I actually have too much paracord on this on this piece. But this is the first one that I made. Um, and literally this whole thing can fold up in the palm of your hand, just like that. And that's how small it is. It can go right in your pocket. It can go in your sack on your saddle. It can go in your backpack and go anywhere. So, I mean, you cannot get any more compact than this. Um, I highly doubt it. And so the same thing, it, you know, just unravels real quick. Um, to go over just some of the parts that, that you need to order. Number one, you can get right off Amazon, this figure nine, uh, kit. And it actually comes with two. I just have already taken the other one out. You can see the paracord. It's so the link, the paracord that it comes with is absolutely, is perfect. And it's already attached to the carabine. Well, technically it's, it's it's they have it hooked through like this but if you see i just kind of made a nice loop and and uh and i put it you put it through this end and if you don't know how a figure nine works just go watch a video on it it's very simple and quick and very adjustable and so you can order this on amazon i want to say two of these with the paracord was like 20 bucks might have been a little bit less i can't remember um and then these items i ordered and these are key i ordered these off of eBay, and again, I will put the links down below, and these, I wanna say, were like five or seven bucks for for five of these. And all these are, is they are plastic, little plastic carabiners. And you'll see, as you'll see in the video in a little bit, you'll see that you just, it's a matter of cutting a couple sections, drilling a hole through, and just thread these onto the, onto the uh, paracord. Um, and it's real simple. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you how I made these um, a real quick video, and then I'm gonna show you how it looks on the tree and how you can hang your bow, you can hang your backpack, your binoculars, you can hang anything off these hooks. Once it's on the tree, it is solid, and it's on the tree in seconds, and it's off the tree in seconds, and it does not take up a lot of room anywhere in your pack, your pocket. If you're in a state that you can't screw things in, this is perfect, again, you can buy some online that are straps and they're a little bit bulkier. Um, but honestly, this, this unit I think is going to work great. So let's go ahead into the shop and I'll show you how to quickly make these. And then I'll show you how they look on the tree. All right, guys, I'm going to kind of quickly just show you how I make these, um, these little utility straps for your tree. Again, it's pretty easy. All you need is a hacksaw and a drill. That's it. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk you through how quickly and how easy it is to make these. 
Uh, I'm going to guess it probably takes 15, 20 minutes maybe to do it. So this is the one I made here. And I'll kind of just show you the way these clips are laid out compared to a new clip. So here's a new clip right here. As you see, it's like a little plastic carabiner is all this is. And all you're doing, if you look right here, is you're gonna saw this in two places. So you're gonna saw it right up here. And then when this clip comes off, when, you, when this will come right off, you're gonna saw this little nub off. You don't have to, but I did. That's it. So I do, I put four on each one of these. Then the next step is to drill a hole to put your, your paracord through or whatever rope you're gonna use. Again, this is just um, paracord that I'm using for this and that's 550 cord, that's what I would recommend because it's nice and lightweight and it's pretty strong. All right, so I think I mentioned all you need was a drill and a hacksaw, um, but in reality, you can get one of these Dremel cutters or something like that, it makes it a lot easier. And so that leaves you with this little J. All I'm gonna do is zip off this little piece here. And there you have it. You got one cut up. You can sand these down a little bit, obviously, make them a little smooth, and that's it. Next step, just to drill a hole. So when you're drilling your hole, you're gonna go in this first notch right here, that first notch. I don't know what size drill this is, this drill bit, I should say. Um, but any drill that, you, that you can guess that your paracord will fit through. And there you have your hole for your paracord. Guys, once you get all four of these drilled out, or five, however many you want to do, Again, I haven't sanded these down, but I'll probably sand them down a little bit. It is literally, all you gotta do is take your carabiner, and you can use any kind of hook system you want. There's a lot of different, um, this is a Night Eyes, and Night Eyes has a, um, another type, I forget what it's called, but they have another kind that works a little differently that has like a, um, a pinch system on it. Anything, I just like these. They're not heavy, but they're just enough weight to throw around the tree, and it's simple how they just wrap they go through here and wrap, lock right in. You're, you're locked in good, and it comes right out. There's no tying, none of that. Um, and so all you do is I just make kind of a you know a loop, get a loop through here, tie it through here, and this is always going to stay for me. And then all you do is just thread these on, and it's a piece of cake. Just make sure you're threading them on in the same direction. That's all. So I'll put these in. Have them all go the same way. And that's it. And you got them all on there. So once you get them all on there, they're going the same way. I usually just, when I'm packing it up, I'll pull it all the way down. Have them like this. And I'll just wrap around. Of course, I got a little knot there, but it's okay. I just wrap it up. Wrap this up, and it, there it is in the palm of your hand right there. You see how compact this gets once you wrap it up. Piece of cake, you put it right in your pocket. I mean, it fits in the palm of your hand. And so, like, yeah, you can see. I mean, look how small that is. So, let's, uh, why don't we go out in the tree? We'll go out in the backyard. We'll go out in the tree, and I'll show you how awesome this thing works on the tree and how quick it is to set up. So, basically, you take this out of your pack or your pocket or whatever and um, just unravel it, and you got your... You got your hooks here that move up and down the string. You can basically take, pull these down, take the weight of the carabiner if you have a big tree and throw it around the tree like that if you need to catch it. So it's not too heavy. Um, and then all you need to do is take these, the hooks, pull them out of the way. And if you, I don't know if you've ever used one of these figure nines, but basically, 
you can put it through and hold it right on just like that. Now you can adjust how tight it is. Um, you just pull it out just like that. And hooking these teeth, just hold it in. Nothing's gonna happen to it. And so pretty much you can take these and move them around the tree however you want. And so you can hang pretty much everything on here, um, on the hooks. So usually when I get up in my saddle, if my bow is down at the ground, the first thing I do is I take my backpack off and I'll swing it around and I'll hang it out of the way on the tree. Now, one thing I'm going to do with this is I'm probably going to tie a some paracord here so that my backpack will be low will be low down the tree. So if I have to get around on either side to shoot, I don't like my backpack up at the same height as like my chest or my face or anything like that. I like it to be low so that I can at least just get into the very top of this if I need anything or the little or the, the middle. You can take your, uh, your binos and those right in front of you if you want. Um, take your quiver, take your quiver hang that right on the tree and even take your bow and hang it right on there and so I would say the only negative about this would be that if you don't like having your bow close to the tree and you like it far out I usually when I would go in before I had one of these systems I would go in with an actual tree hanger, a small one, short one that I would screw in. Um, in some states you can't do that. N another, another great reason for using this uh, system, but it does put it close to the tree. But it's pretty, pretty easy to, to take on and off. You just take your bow right off, just like that, and put it right back. You can either hang it from your limb if, you're, if you don't like that, you can hang it from your cam. Some people don't like doing that, um, but it works. I'm probably gonna put some tape on these. Um, and again, you can move these anywhere you want. You can move it around the back. If you want your quiver completely out of the way, you can move it around the back. So I, again, I think it's a really great versatile system. Uh, and it's super small and super compact uh, and easy and cheap to make. So hopefully, again, I saw this online on saddlehunter.com. Hopefully some, some people will come across this and be like, oh my God, that's, a, you know, that's an awesome idea. It's not my idea, <laughs> but I thought it was worth putting a video out. Don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, leave me a comment if you got any questions about this system. Um, I'll be happy to answer. Again, thanks for watching. Good luck hunting.